All right, it's office hours. It's attorney Vince Davis and uh, ask your CPS question. Today we have a guest, Natalie. How are you, Natalie? I'm doing okay. How are you? I'm doing good, good, good. So what is your question? I wanted to know if there's any way for me to stop the process of adoption for my children. Um, I had two yesterday. My rights were terminated and I have six children in the system and I did everything that they asked me, but they told me my time clock run out. And so they're giving the caretakers the option to adopt them. And so two of them are willing to adopt uh, my children and only two of my children don't have like foster family to wanting to adopt them. So I just wanted to know if there's any way, what can I do because they're already terminating my rights. Okay. Have, is your case in California? Yes. Okay. Um, have you lost your family reunification services? Yes. Okay. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to talk to your attorney about filing a 388 petition to reinstate your family unification services and or return the children to you and or get um, liberalized visits. The second thing that you have to do is you have to file a motion for a bonding study. You can talk to your attorney about that. Um, a bonding study is one of the best defenses to stop the termination of parental rights. I'm okay. sorry, but they, um, the judge threw out my 388 and then the bonding study happened, but the judge still listened to the children's um, attorney and the department's attorney. And they basically deny my bonding study. Like they're basically lying. They're putting words in my kid's mouth. They were lying saying that um, I'm not emotionally attached to my children. And so it's kind of hard for me. I was tell my attorney to submit pictures of me and my children during the visits and the judge just is no seeing past adoption. Okay. So Natalie, I'm trying to find the politically correct way to tell you this, right? You asked me a question. I'm giving you an answer. Okay. Now, if the judge has ruled against you, you have to file an appeal or what's called a writ, take it to a higher court right. to get the judge overruled. That's W-R-I-T. For example, one of the best defenses you have statutorily to the termination of your parental rights is to prove that you have a relationship with the children, a bond, such that if your rights were terminated, it would be detrimental to the children, not to you, but to the children. Now, the only way to do that, in my mind, or the best way to do that, is with a bonding study. So if the judge denied a bonding study, um, you should take that up on a writ. The reason why the county attorney and the minors attorney argued against it is because they want your rights terminated. Okay, you think they're acting fair. No, they're not. They want your rights terminated. So you have to do everything possible to make sure that you can stop this termination of your parental rights. And the one is the bonding study and the two is the 388. If the judge filed um, or denied your 388, file an appeal and also file a new 388. Correct whatever errors or shortcomings it had. You can file a new 388 with pictures. You mentioned those pictures. I think that's very good evidence, pictures. And number two, if they denied your bonding study, file a writ. you got to file an emergency writ to the Court of Appeals. And, of course, if none of that works when you do appeal, if your rights are terminated, okay, um, you got to make those issues part of the appeal. Are your children with friendly relatives? Um, the department, well, the social worker. That's Natalie, he's... that's yes or no? No. Okay. So um, have you and your attorney been fighting that all during the case? Yes. Okay. So have you taken it up on appeal? Um, he told me that he will appeal it. Have, how, have you taken up the issue on appeal that the children haven't been placed with relatives? Yeah, I think it got thrown out, though, the, the appeal. The judge didn't want to um, hear it, so he threw it out. So. Well, what are you talking about? An appeal okay. goes to, well, the, the appeal goes to a higher court where there are three justices. They oh. just don't throw out appeals. Well, 
Have you seen any documentation? Is your attorney not being straight with you? Um, I don't think so, um, because basically he's just been on my case. They've been switching my attorneys like a lot. And so my last attorney, he doesn't show me documentation. I asked for my um, minute orders. I asked for my paperwork and he doesn't send them to me. So I call his office and they still don't give me the information. Well, what county are you in? I'm Los Angeles County, and my case is in Monterey Park. So one of the things you might want to do is talk to the head of the law firm, uh, maybe send them an email. Okay. But, but there's no such thing as throwing out an appeal by the judge in your case. Mm. Okay? Okay. All right. Natalie, I want to thank you for joining us. And if anyone wants to join us during office hours at 1230 every day, uh, go ahead and email Grace, G-R-A-C-E, at vincentwdavis.com, and you can come on, ask me a question, and I'll try to answer it. Natalie, if you have any further questions, give me a call at 888-888-6582, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, folks. And we'll see you tomorrow at 1230. Also, you know, I think we might try to do an office hour today at 5 or 530 or 430, whatever time Grace sets it. So if you want to be on this afternoon, go ahead and call Grace and we'll try to do one t this afternoon, an office hour. And we'll also try to we'll definitely do it tomorrow at 1230. All right, folks. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye.